Yesterday I made an image editing program in Java. This is it right here. It has a fairly basic interface. First thing you have to do is select an image. And I have one picked out. This one right here. Now what this is, is um, these are three graphs that represent the red, green, and the blue values of each pixel. It's a simple input to output ratio. Right now they're all set on 1 to 1, which is the default. But if I want maybe more of a certain color for a certain range, or, you know, I just want to edit the color curves or the white balance, I can do that. For example, I want to make it more green here. I can just do that. More green. But of course that's not really the solution I'm looking for, so I'm going to change this to HSB. The real problem is the sky is too bright and the trees and the grass are too dark. So what I'm going to do is boost the brightness so that the dark values are actually brighter than they would be, while the extremely bright values stay kind of about the same. Yeah, you see, that makes the foreground a little less dark. I'll shift this just a little bit over. Yeah, that's better. And now, just a little saturation boost would help. And, yeah, that's already looking a lot better. So I'm going to save that as Hillside 2. And I can show you the original and the modified versions. This is the original. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Even though, it, uh, well, I mean, it doesn't look perfect, though, and that's because part of the problem is the camera that I took this with was nice, but not too fancy. It, the ISO setting was kind of high, so it's a little grainy and so the colors look a little forced but it still looks better I think I mean this one's just all dark you know I like this one better I found another picture I want to try This is a picture of the back side of an abandoned building, and you can see where the paint is chipping off of the bricks, leaving the red sides of the bricks exposed. So, for this one, what I want to do is decrease the midtones brightness so that there's more contrast, and so that it's darker in general, makes it look more ominous, more post apocalyptic. So I think maybe just a little more. I think that's a fair amount. If I do any more, then the highlights will really stick out. Another thing I want to do is mess with the saturation so that there's either no saturation at all or intense color. So it's going to be either black and white or a vibrant color. And I'm excited to see how this will turn out should be pretty interesting. Yeah, you can see where that kind of... Oh man, it looks like blood, actually. Maybe I shouldn't have made it quite as intense as that. Yeah, I'll just smooth this out a bit. Maybe have a little extra point there. This ought to make it a little more graduate. Yeah, that's better. But now you see what that did is it makes the the concrete at the bottom appear more gray as opposed to its its real color was kind of brownish or greenish I think it makes more contrast between the areas without color and the areas with color that's what the point of it is supposed to be so I'm going to save that one this is the original here And this is the modified version. I kind of like it.